Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be putting together a tank trap to shoot from using the Tactical Games Tank Trap Knuckle. Uh, I bought this off of their website, cost $80, and um, I think it was like $20 to ship it because it is pretty heavy. I'm no stranger to shooting from the tank trap. Uh, it creates awkward shooting positions, awkward shooting angles. You have to work on your stability. Um, and I'll explain a little bit at the end of the video how I'm gonna set it up ultimately. And it's, it's a good way to practice awkward shooting positions. And I wanted it ultimately to be portable, so I didn't drill directly into the wood so that it's fixed, because when all three pieces of wood are in here, it is rather large and cumbersome to transport around. So I want it to be portable. I wanna carry the knuckle, the hardware and then the three pieces of wood and that's all I need. So I did probably spend a little bit extra money to do that, but I think it's worth it in the long run. So first off, I went to Home Depot and got two four by four by eight pieces of wood. On the website, on the Tactical Games website, it says not to use pressure treated wood. Apparently tr pressure treated wood is swollen, so it's a little bit larger in, um, it's not diameter because it's, uh, not a circle. Uh, the perimeter, I guess, is a little bit larger than this knuckle, so they say not to use pressure treated wood. So I went for the premium wood, and it fits just fine in the long run. But I came home, I quickly turned those 4x4x8s into 4x4x4s with a quick chop saw, and um, I marked off the holes. Now, like I said, I wanted this to be portable, so I got these brass inserts that I drilled a hole in and then inserted those to accept a grade eight bolt. So the brass inserts were three sixteenths, or three eighths, I'm sorry, three eighths, and it accepts a three eighths bolt. Um, this is a three eighths by inch and a quarter. Um, ultimately, probably could have gone with an inch and a half, but I think it's still pretty sturdy with these inch and a quarter bolts. Um, the brass wood inserts were not very strong and it had a slot at the top to kind of use that as leverage to insert it into the wood and those quickly broke. So I wound up having to insert the bolt all the way and using that force to push that wood insert all the way in so that it sits flush with the wood. Ultimately, it came out perfect, all the holes lined up, and I will head outside for my final thoughts on this tank trap knuckle. The tank trap is all put together, so I had a little trouble with those brass inserts. They weren't as strong as I thought they were going to be, and they kept, they kept breaking where you were screwing it in. But I got them in, and it is pretty solid. They say that not use the pressure treated wood. Uh, this isn't pressure treated wood, it's premium wood because uh, the pressure treated wood is swollen and uh, I think it's a little short. So these pieces are four by four by four and there's three of them. So different shooting positions. This one, this one's the lowest, this one's in the middle and that one's the highest and you can rotate it all around. I think what I can do is I can put another hole maybe one foot down and on every one of these I could just take the bolt out and then put it up there and then you have a completely different shooting angle shooting position. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint a couple of shooting points. I think red and black, you know, one red stripe, two red stripes, three and four. And then you've got three posts with four different shooting angles. And if I put another hole up there, then that's four by four by three. So definitely a lot of shooting positions that you can do with this. But uh, it's really gonna help my training. It's very sturdy. You know, the corners will go into the grass at the range. This is a paver driveway, but definitely gonna help shooting from those awkward angles. So. Tank Trap from Tactical Games, I like it. 